Okay, this is a review of the Wycliffe Brothers Prestige Class 23 inch backgammon board. Uh, price is $395, free shipping. Uh, so let's call it $400. Okay. Uh, measures in at about, yeah, 23. by 14 closed uh, weighs in at about let's see I would say about 15 15 to 17 pounds so a little on the hefty side okay like I did with my other reviews I will list the positives and negatives uh, all right first impression from uh, I ordered it through Gammon Village uh, no complaints there board came well packaged no uh, issues with packaging uh, they use UPS took about I want to say four to five days for it to arrive sorry arrive Alright, first thing are the positives. Out of the boards I have so far, I gotta say, uh, this is, they have, Wycliffe Brothers have the best Dublin cube, in my opinion. Nice oversized cube, nice weight to it, clear and uh, uh, precise numbering, no issues there. Okay, nice hefty cube, you know, throw down the cube, you wanna let your opponent know you mean business. Bam, slam it down. So this is my favorite part, or my favorite uh, uh, thing about this Wycliffe board. And okay, so the double cube. Uh, second positive is their dice cups. Nice sized dice cups. Uh, no issues there. Well constructed. Uh, nice lining. Um, nice felt inside. Okay, uh, this board did not come with a scoreboard, did not come with precision dice, came with regular dice. Uh, with the Prestige class, they uh, upgrade their checkers, if you want to call it an upgrade, to their nickel plated checkers. Nice, hefty checkers. Um, personally, I like the acrylic checkers. Um, they do uh, these uh, nickel plated ones do look nice though, nice heavy size, weight nice weight. The only thing I don't like though is they don't slide as well as the acrylic checkers. It's my only issue with um, White Clips Brothers nickel plated checkers. Now if you have a P40 board, maybe they constructed a little better they slide a little easier but with these really uh, don't like using them okay. they tend to fall off your hands if you roll doubles during bear off and you gotta like you know grab for at the same time they're slippery so uh, some of them have been dropped on the ground before um, no issues, a few little minor scratches on them, but they're holding up pretty nicely. Um, I've played well over 200 games on this board, so overall it's held up pretty nicely. No issues on wear and tear. Okay, so as far as positives, uh, that's about it for the Wycliffe board. I think for the price point of $400, I would expect a slight better build quality, for example. Um, now granted, when I bought this board, it was during the summer. Uh, I was playing outdoors, 120, well not that, 110 degrees, 100 degrees. And I noticed that some of this um, 
Let's see, some of the construction on the uh, board was sort of coming unglued in certain parts, so which that was a little concern. So uh, what I did was just, just uh, with some force managed to uh, press it back and pretty much uh, that took care of the issue. I don't know what the issue was with that, but whoops. That's just something to take note as far as construction. Uh, another thing, I don't know if this board was specifically designed for these type of checkers because you have these little cushion things that are removable. Um, you know, so I don't know. That makes you wonder if these checkers were actually. Um, or if they adjusted their board to fit these checkers. Um, felt, um, it's okay. It's not as smooth as the FM board or the arc gammon board. Um, you know, I don't see any... Uh, too much wear on them yet. But overall... You know, for the price, um, I wouldn't feel comfortable paying $400 again for a board like this. I would rather just offer a FM backgammon board. Um, uh, if you're looking for, a, you know, your first luxury board, I would go with uh, their 21-inch um, board. I think it's priced at $265. Um, which is a much more reasonable price than paying $400 uh, for a board like this. Okay, so like I said, um, that's about it for the negatives. Um, uh, and again, it does have a, you have to, when you're done playing, you do have to put your checkers back onto the slot with the little checker cushions or else the board uh, will not close so um, well I guess I'll roll some dice before keep the uh, reviews consistent before I put it away Some dice. There we go. All right, let's go. Please. White rolls four one. One more roll. Okay. Thanks for watching.